Hey everybody, it's Jill Diamond and I am back. It's Friday. I call it Flow Friday because we're working on the connection between words and syllables, trying to help you really get that flow. And in the last couple of weeks, we're working on backwards sentences. We're going to continue to do that with a new sentence today. All right, so let me go ahead and pull up my screen here. I'm sure you remember two weeks ago, we worked on Please Save Me a Seat on the Train. And then last week, I had one of my students, we did a recording and I was able to go ahead and share that sentence with you. So if you have not already seen those on YouTube, you should be able to find them in the last two posts before today. So what are we gonna work on? Today, we're gonna work on this. So let me make that a little larger for us. And we'll just kind of push all this stuff down and see if we can not. Uh, let's just get rid of this for a moment so that we can really focus here. Okay, so, and I'm just gonna save this so that everybody has it where they need it. We'll call that number three, save. All right, here we go. So the meeting is at one o'clock this afternoon, backward sentences. This is a technique I created that if you start with the end in mind, it's like the way opera singers train. When opera singers train, they know how long they need to hold their breath. They know where they're going. They know where that focus word is, okay? Now for us, we know here that this is our key word, afternoon. And I'm gonna go ahead and Let's just go ahead and bold this because this is the stress syllable of the word afternoon. So we're gonna start there with the end in mind and we're gonna make sure that we go up and down with our melody. Afternoon, can you say that? Afternoon, that's where we're going. That's the target, that's the end point. Like that opera singer who's singing a phrase, she moves, she holds her breath, she knows where she has to go. That's our objective. We wanna to get to the noon. All right, so now let's just talk about the word first. After, after, afternoon. After, after, afternoon. Can you say that? Right, we got three syllables after, after, afternoon, after, after, after. And so that after, those are those sounds are smaller. Afternoon, and the noon is long. So look at this great link here. Remember, when a word starts with a vowel, we're gonna connect it to the immediate, the preceding sound. And in this case, it's an S sound. All right, so what we can do is we can kind of color code these. Let's color code these. Let's go with green today. All right, and let's make this green as well. And then we're gonna link that, okay? So I want you to say for me, afternoon. Can you put that S right there? afternoon and a kind of hiss, afternoon. Imagine it's a word. This afternoon, try it. Right, all right. So we're going to, let's see here. Let's push this back here just for the sake like this. And then let's go ahead and let's just put that linking mark. We're gonna connect that. And now say this afternoon, hitting the noon. That's where you get that stretch of melody, length, volume. This afternoon, try it. Great. All right, good. So now we're going to look at this, right? So here we have, if you look at the time, we're talking about one o'clock. So there's three syllables, wanna, wanna, wanna. So I'm going to write this number out so that you can see how that N is going to link to the O. And in this case, that O, we're not going to say one o, one o. We're going to use the schwa, wanna, 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 so connect the N to the schwa sound. That O is gonna to turn to a schwa. One o'clock, one o'clock. Try saying that. One o'clock, one o'clock. So we practice that technique of isolation. Isolate the connection, practice the linking, get the flow, all right? Good, so now where we had left off was on the word this. 
right? And so we connected that visa. So we're gonna just, let's move that guy over here. Let's see if we can get this and just move it over a little bit. There it is. So say for me this afternoon, okay? Now, if you look at clock, the K sound linking to the TH, there's no official technique for linking. We just want the breath to keep moving. We use the breath and that's what we're talking about, right? When I talked about the opera singers and using their breath, knowing how long their breath has to flow until you get to that end, which is the noon. So we wanna use that breath, we wanna keep flowing. And we're gonna say, clock this afternoon. Try that. Clock this afternoon. So what I'm not doing is I'm not saying clock this afternoon. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping my breath and taking a new breath. I'm not doing a glottal stop where I stop the airflow clock this afternoon. I wanna keep the breath going clock this afternoon. Okay, now here's that next syllable, a clock, a clock, but let's try, let's try this again. Wanna, wanna, one o'clock this afternoon. Think about holding that breath, using that breath, supporting the, the sound that you produce with your voice, right? One o'clock this afternoon. Try it. Okay, excellent. Now look what we're gonna do here. Some of you probably already know, we're gonna turn this to a schwa. So I'm just gonna kind of change that T, put a little line through it. So you know, sorry, it's not a schwa, it's a flap sound. Ada, 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 uh, let's see. Oh, my mistake. Let's undo that. So even though this is an O, and I said, oh, we're gonna say ada. No, we're not. Because the way we pronounce that number one, look at that, it's a W, one. So we can't reduce that T to a flat because we're saying at one, at one. But what we can do, because we're not saying at one, like the British, and we're not really doing that flap at a, but what you'll notice is that I do kind of cut the air a little bit in order to make that American kind of uh, T sound, at. I place my tongue behind my teeth at, the air comes up right behind my teeth at, and at one, at one. Try that, at one, at one. But I'm not taking a breath in between. I still wanna use my breath to say the whole sentence, the meeting is at one o'clock this afternoon. So I have one breath. The meeting is at one o'clock this afternoon. And I get to that word noon. But if we come back here, just notice at one, at, at, I, I do a glottal stop back here in my throat, at one. And I use the W for the one, at one o'clock, at one, -a, one, -a, and I link one, -a, one o'clock at one o'clock this afternoon. Try it. All right, and good, here's a link. Here's our next link, is that, is that, okay? And look at how we almost changed that to a Z. Is that, is that. Looks like an S, sounds like a, like a Z. So we're gonna use our breath here. We're gonna take a breath in and we're gonna say, is it one o'clock this afternoon? And then hit that noon, try that. Is that, is that, is it one o'clock this afternoon? And we combine that Z sound connected to the word at. We do that glottal stop, don't forget. Is that, is it one o'clock this afternoon? Try that. Okay, good. Now look at this. When we link meeting is, meeting is, meeting is, meeting is, you hear that G? I connect that G to that I. So we'll just put that little mark there. So you remember meeting is, meeting is at. Let's try those three words. Meeting is at, 
and then maybe hit a little melody just for fun. Meeting is that, meeting is that, okay? Because as we say the whole sentence, we're gonna keep moving to that noon. Meeting is at one o'clock this afternoon. Try that. You see, this is a nice sentence. It's not too long. You can really use your breath and have your breath support your voice and all of the sounds flowing, flowing, flowing. So what happens is there's a combination of, of things that change the rhythm of the sentence when you speak English. One of the things that changes is that you might stop the airflow. When you stop that airflow, you, you change the rhythm. A sentence like this, we got to keep moving. The meeting is at one o'clock this afternoon. And we need to feel those connections. So, th so that can be something that changes the rhythm. You might actually stop or you might actually not use some of the reductions, the linking. Those change the flow. And then also another thing that can change the flow of, of a phrase is kind of taking one word and not giving it the connections it deserves as well. Afternoon, right? You might say afternoon instead of afternoon where the N sits on the R. So that's important, okay? Good, so, excuse me. We have meeting is at one o'clock this afternoon. Try that with the emphasis on noon. All right, good. And then the last thing we're gonna add is this final structure word. We're not gonna say the meeting. What are we gonna do? Bingo, the schwa sound, uh, the, the meeting. The meeting is at one o'clock this afternoon. See if you could really feel, and I'm gonna do it again. And as I say it, listen to how I make those connections between meeting is at, meeting is at one o'clock. So I'm gonna exaggerate that, listen. The meeting is at one o'clock this afternoon. Try the exaggerated version a few times for yourself. So you really feel the link. We have a lot of linking here. The breath is going, it's moving, it's holding, it's supporting the words and the sounds, okay? And uh, yeah, so try it in slow motion. Once you get that slower motion, the meeting is at one o'clock this afternoon, then you can pick it up. The meeting is at one o'clock this afternoon. So I wanna wish you good luck with this sentence. It's a short one. I know I made this video a little shorter today, but I, I think we can do this. I think you could do this, you got it. Okay, so that does it for our backward sentence today, but I wanna thank you so much for watching. I can't tell you how much you mean to me. I hope you know that you mean a lot to me and I really wanna help you on your English speaking journey. So I hope you'll you know, check out the description today. Make sure that you either get the ebook if you don't have it, check out the membership or the online program for more learning, for amazing, amazing opportunities ahead. All right, great to see you. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to today's uh, video. Subscribe to the, to the channel, and I'll see you next week for another backward sentence. Bye-bye.